Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today and for the next few weeks at least, I guess you can call it like a um, temporary mini-series that I'm starting, where obviously I've now officially run dry of um, sports videos to upload, you know, physical ones that I go to and film the highlights of. And for a couple weeks, for the last couple weeks, I have just been uploading all the walk-offs for baseball and all the overtime and shootout finishes that I have and now I'm just completely dry <laughs> so um, basically I have a bunch of binders here that is not just here but there uh, one there three there full of uh, sports related stuff this is the older of the stuff so I'm going to start here I'm not going to guarantee they're in exact order um, but I know the older ones are here so um, yeah so basically I'm going to go through a binder per video and that will temporarily at least to kind of replace the highlight videos because I still wanted to replace it with something so I still have a steady flow of like three different types of videos like I guess it'll be kind of similar to the ones that I do where I just show off like a singular thing and uh, talk about it for like five minutes but this is like different because it's a whole binder and it's longer so I feel like this is this is a good replacement because obviously the highlight videos are a little bit longer, a lot longer. Um, the only difference is uh, I actually get a break from editing because usually with these longer videos, obviously I do editing for the highlight videos. They usually take out a whole day, believe it or not, even though overall it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of editing. The whole process pretty much takes out a whole day, so it's a nice little break. But uh, anyway, we'll stop talking. And which one do I choose? There's a, one or two of these that aren't even sports related. Like, one of them, I think, for some reason, I still have a binder full of, like, wacky packages from when I was, like, six. Somewhere in here. Um, what is this? And these these binders um, don't really mean anything. They're not related <laughs> to what's inside. These are just old uh, binders that my, I think my dad had. Let's see what's in here. Oh, here we go. This is related. I might need a light. Hold on. Okay. Let's move it into the light. Okay, so here, this is... Over here, this is stuff that was on my wall. I went through... I don't know how long ago now. Basically tore anything off of my wall. Cause my As covered as my wall currently is, it used to be a lot more covered. With a lot of paper type stuff. And it's like cheap paper stuff like that I took it all off and the only things on my wall now are like framed stuff actual signs you know posters things of that nature um so there's a couple Michael Waltrip things that apparently all stuck together and um another picture of Junior and Kyle Busch in 2008 um Michael Waltrip racing ink and a poster not, I guess it's kind of a poster. In the background here, <laughs> uh, with the number 15, Napa Racing. From what year? From, I guess, 2004? I guess it's 2004. If, if it's talking about 2003, I assume it's 2004. So I have that. And um, some of this stuff, obviously I've been doing these videos, uh, sports videos, since 2017 now so some of the stuff you might have seen before um so uh, this is from april 2017 i believe i went on april 20th um when i was in high school um spring break it was easter uh, easter was either the week before or the week after um and that's always when they have spring break in new jersey so I went to a wednesday day game on april 20th um this is the program for the trenton Thunder, double-A affiliate of the Yankees um, from 2017, from three years ago. I can't believe that was three years ago already. Here's your schedule and stuff. Now, I'm not going to go in-depth. I might flip through. Honestly, I'm not keeping time on this. If this goes, you know, a long time, I don't really care that much. You know, I'm not on a time limit, personally. Uh, as long as I don't run out of space. But this is an old, and I'm sure I've shown this off, this being 2017. 
I'm sure I showed this off, although I don't think I did a video for this because I started actually making full-on highlight videos in May of 2017. You can see I didn't even use a proper scorecard uh, back then, a scorebook like I do now. Like now I'm like three, four scorebooks deep and this, even this, this is probably one of the last ones that I just used the program for. Um, there you go, 4 2017. 5 to 4, Trenton Thunder against New Hampshire. There's some of your pictures on each side, some of your names. You have Mike Ford, Zach Zaner, Billy McKinney, Dante Bichette. Cool stuff. And um, Bichette. Um, more stuff, more stuff. I I feel like we're only like halfway through in this. There's your Eastern League teams. There's some of your front office at the time. There's your other affiliates which have not changed. There's your Thunder players. And keep going. Domingo Herman, um, Matt Watherspoon, Kip Smith, Justice Sheffield, and there you go. Um, and now this is from 2016. Uh, basically, the last real vacation uh, my my family took was a huge one uh, out to the Midwest. So this is Indianapolis was one of our stops, um, and there is video of this. Just not a lot. I, like I said, this is 2016. This is before actual highlight videos. So I do have shots of the game. Just not a lot. Um, where legends grow. Indianapolis Indians 2016 official scorecard. And there you go. Let's take a look at some of these names with my uh, handwriting. Pat Vendetti, the famous um, switch pitcher. I guess you could call them. Uh, this was against the Buffalo. And this is Indianapolis. Josh Bell, big name with Pittsburgh right now. If you didn't know, Indianapolis is um, an affiliate of Pittsburgh, although they are called the Indians. They're not affiliated with Cleveland. So, yeah. And that's the back of it. And also on that trip, wait, on this fell out. So this is the Indians roster at the time as well. And some transactions. And there's the Buffalo Bisons as well. See, one thing that I do feel like I sometimes miss out on, even though I do think it's better to bring my own scorecard, just it's a lot more organized. Sometimes when you do buy like the one or two dollar scorecards at the game, you get actual roster sheets like this. Um, oh, there's something cool coming up. But, um,. This is also 2016. This was, I don't know, a few days later, if not a week. This is Louisville. It's a weird fold-out thing here, I guess. But that's 2016, $1. Louisville official scorecard. There you go. It's a Budweiser ad, Ford ad, um, GE ad. Uh, again against Buffalo, by the way. And uh, look who's pitching again. Pat Vendetti again. Um, Dustin Antolin, uh, he, if you are familiar with the Atlantic League, which many of you watching probably are because that's a, I do post a lot of Somerset Patriots videos. He was with the Patriots for a while. Maybe still is. I don't remember. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned, Buffalo, I think I fucked up, um, with the names here. I think I put them in the wrong order or something, but as you can see, this is in pencil. So unfortunately it may be a little bit harder to read but it's there it's it's held up over four years uh here you go 6 27 june 27 2016 start time 705 finish 9 37 p.m uh next we got something 11 years old we got arca arca remax series at the time at uh, new jersey motorsports park 2009 uh, September 11th through 13th. This would be the 13th. Um, South Jersey Building Trades 150. 
AFL CI, I don't know what that is, but <laughs> we got some signatures. I don't know if this is the right binder. This could be, this could not be, but there is a binder where basically for this race we had pit passes. They weren't that expensive, it being ARCA, and got signatures of all the drivers. So what I assume these signatures are, are drivers that didn't have hero cards probably, so it's just like, ah, uh, sign the program. Um, so, yeah, we got two of them there, number 26 and number 6. I'm sure if I did just the slightest bit of research, I could find out who they are. Unless it's right here. No, that's the schedule. But yeah, if I do find some sort of roster, then I'll know who they are, but I'm lazy. <laughs> and, uh, obviously we were there Sunday. There were some other races. Pro IT VW TDI Cup Race 2 Historic Stock Car Series. And then there's your Arca Remax Series at 1 o'clock um i believe the program also has schedule of events f1 don't just watch it's time to drive that's just like an experience sort of thing um yep there's your map so i'm like discovering this for the first time in 11 years so i'm kind of, this is kind of new to me as well in a way uh mansfield remember that track um, some articles, the good old Gen 4 cars, but also the era where Arca brakes became a meme <laughs> because they just would not slow down during wrecks at Daytona and Talladega. Uh, Ladybug. <laughs> Toadfish. Uh, Patrick Seltra. Uh, it's a name I haven't heard in a while. Um, this just seems to be a ton of ads. Uh, Kligerman, he was in it. He was in the 2009 Arca series, Parker Kligerman. Um, 20. Tom Hessert. Um, there's some sports car action. Uh, there's your Volkswagen Jetta TDI Cup. And we got some more ad. This might take us out. Um, and there you go. So there you go. So yeah, um, that's stuff that I haven't seen in literally 11 years. So very interesting stuff. Now I'm gonna attempt to put all this away. Uh, I'm actually gonna pause the video because I, you know, <laughs> I need two hands for this to do this quickly. Okay, so there we go. Now let's move on to this. And I guess this is the right one because. Uh, here we're going to see a bunch of Arca um, hero cards and other stuff um, from 2009. Jason Basham, 94. Just one of those uh, photograph things. If you watch the video uh, from the Indoor Auto Racing Series, the amount of hero cards that I got there, all, mo I wouldn't say most, some of them were not um, even hero cards. There were photographs like this and other various different types of stuff. It's kind of the same thing with Arca over here. Um, this is Joey Coulter, who was in the same hotel room as us. Uh, even though this is New Jersey, I do live in New Jersey. This is South Jersey. I live in North Jersey. So this was like two and a half, three hours away. So it kind of made this a weekend, um, or at least Saturday into Sunday. Cause I, I think Sunday is the only day that we actually went, um, so Joey Coulter and his team was in the same hotel as us, and we actually saw him the morning of the race, which is kind of cool, in the hotel. Um, but there you go. Coulter Motorsports signature. Uh, and uh, who is this? Gabby DiCarlo uh, signature. Uh, obviously was in the trucks that year as well, the number 90 great clips car we have some coupons that expired probably in 2009 <laughs> so rest of the hero card that's kind of cut off but i'm too lazy to do anything about it barry fitzgerald um personalized you know i was a nine-year-old kid at the time so um this was printed on july 22nd 2009 <laughs> if anyone cares uh ghosts Another one personalized. Craig Ghost Jr. is his full name. Just read that at the top. So a lot of spinning. Uh, this one. 
Mike. I'm so sorry. I did, can't read that. Something that starts with an H. Um, there's two in here as well. Smith Motorsports. Uh, Rick Smith up here. They late model. Or two late models actually it looks like. And they're both on the back. This one is actually dated September 9th, 2009. Uh, is when he made that I assume. Uh, Frank Kimmel. The legend of ARCA. Um, sig big signature across the middle right there. Of course, as you'd expect, really nice guy. Um, there's the back of it. You have the ARCA schedule on the back. And of course, because it is uh, Menards, you have to highlight the Menards 200 at Toledo Speedway over there. Um, so this one, Chase Mat Mattioli, I think. That looks like some sort of sports car. I wonder if he was in the TDI Cup or whatever. Oh, I guess there's logos here. I guess that's Grand Am. Um, ARCA Camping World Series, which um, is modern day ARCA East slash West was k and I'm still getting used to it being an ARCA series. I still tend to call it k and uh, Another one personalized. I feel like they are a lot more likely to personalize it to a nine-year-old kid. <laughs> um, damn, who is this? I am so sorry. <laughs> Um, obviously, it says number 5, but this is number 14, so different, I guess. Oh, here we go. Um, Willie Mullins. I've heard of him. Uh, apparently, I've met him, too. This one is just uh, the track map, <laughs> but the Thunderbolt course. But uh, number 19 signed it. So, once again, I could easily look up the roster, but lazy. Uh, Jeremy Petty right here, number 23. Have Corey Rabinold, number 14. This is the real number 14 of that race, I guess. No real sponsors, it looks like. Um, Patrick Seltra, number 60. We saw his car in the program. Um, Brian Silas, he made it up. I don't remember if he ever made it up to Nationwide. Um, but he might, I think he was in trucks, at least at some point. Seems like a lot of these guys, especially if they have funding, were in the trucks at the same time as Arca. Venturi Motorsports, before any sponsors. Um, and I guess the this guy had to point himself out. Tom Birdie, I think. Here you go. And this is just on a notepad because clearly they didn't have um, hero cards. I don't know why I didn't just get the program. Oh, you know why? This is completely different. This is, I should have read the date. This is Daytona, 2011. Was there on Friday. This was the trackside uh, stage, so, you know, the Speed Channel stage. Uh, that's Krista Voda. That's a Daryl Waltrip. And just had notepads because they had just finished up trackside or they're in commercial i forget which um and you know i'm not going to be able to name these crew members but we have i have several of these actually um crew member from jamie mcmurray's car uh and a crew member from the 31 car which 2011 i don't think that was still jeff burton in 2011 right i don't know <laughs> But, uh, anyway, Jimmy Johnson did have infield passes for this because, you know, it's Friday in the July race. It's not as expensive as, you know, the day of the cup race. But, obviously, there was still cup activity. I remember qualifying. Could see a bunch of drivers going, walking by because we we're, uh, during qualifying, we are on the roof um, that's near the haulers. So, you could, and the, and the roof is <laughs> literally the garage. So, you see a ton of drivers. Um, you see Carl Edwards right here, very personalized on this one, a little message, which is very cool. Um, ugh. there you go, and this one came from the wall, <laughs> um, it was on my wall for quite a while. Uh, this is just our Ricky Rudd Snickers hero card from 2007, I think. And this is a Dale Jarrett one that, again, same story. That's why it's kind of, like, looking bad. Uh, whoa, Jarrett raced a truck in 2003? Wow, who knows? 
Um, this is Casey Mears. Uh-oh. Casey Mears Geico. Oh, I apparently shoved something else in here. Hold on, what is this? This is packaging to one of the cars. This is Winter Circle Jeff Gordon Lifetime Series. Oh, I got this last year. I don't know why I just shoved it in here, but... Anyway, this is the back of the Casey Mears card. Um, but this is a, the back of one of the cars that I got from uh, last year. Because normally what they would do, with the exception of so far this year, is every Thursday night at the local Wendy's in town. They have a car show and there's always a guy there selling die casts. Um, anyway, this is, uh, not this year, the previous year, 2019, Josh Rayum signed hero card from Racing Night at the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. This is a team photo of the Sussex County Myers 2019. Um, of course, this is sentimental to me because I was interning at that team last year, so that's cool to have. Um, and this is um, Utica, team signed autograph. And actually, th these two, in a way, kind of go hand in hand because, because of the fact that I was interning at this team, that gave me the connection to uh, take my first ever, I guess you call it, business trip for five days, four nights, five days, uh, up to Utica, New York in November to do a um, junior college soccer tournament. And it just so happened that we had one day off where we could just do anything we wanted. Um, the hotel was in downtown Utica. And the one, night, the one day I had off was Saturday, November 16th, I think it was. And it just so happened that a five minute walk was the Utica Comets Arena, a place I obviously never been to. And it just so happened that that night was also team photo giveaway and autograph night. So it all worked out perfectly. So I got the whole team to sign the team photo. And the only time that I've ever been to Utica. So that all, <laughs> that all just worked out so perfectly. I'm very happy about, uh, about Utica. And now we have a bunch of crap in the back, which again is kind of stuff... Uh, from the wall as well, so it might be stuff that's stuck together. We have a Dale Jr. thing. <laughs> Junior Nation. Yep, here's because all of it had tape on it, and some of the tape didn't want to come off. So now we have a whole mess. This is some weird school project. 2009. It, uh, three of the pictures have obviously fallen off. Um... <laughs> Two of them remain. A picture of Mark Martin. I believe that's the Phoenix win and Joey Logano for some reason. Um, uh, so anyway, here we have some sort of Burger King ad with Tony Stewart. Same era, 2009. We have Tony the Tiger for some reason stuck on the back. We have a picture of David Rudiman. Um, this is all coming from nine-year-old me, by the way. So <laughs> uh, This is actually a personal picture, I think. Not one that I took, I don't think, but one that my parents took. I don't know where the show car was, but this was a Best Western uh, Michael Walter Bush series uh, show car somewhere. Uh, another Burger King thing. Oh, this was on the fries. This is like a, uh, a fry holder thing. Tony Stewart. I'm trying really hard not to rip anything. Because this photo is kind of cool. Daytona, I wasn't there, but this was 2004. My dad was there. The Kiss Mobile, back when the Bush Series was sponsored by Hershey's. Not the series, but the race. Uh, picture of the Ricky Stenhouse Zest car for some reason. Um, I, or I guess it was Kenseth, because I found half of his face. So I guess it was Kenseth. <laughs> uh, some mini. USA Weekend article for some reason, I guess, because it had Waltrip on it. Um, Cheerios 43 Racing. Is this a sticker? I guess it is, because on the back we have Terry Labonte's sticker as well. <laughs> Another random picture. Michael Waltrip. This one actually unstuck itself. 2008, looks like, Spring Cup Series. Um, this is this thing. Is it looks like something that comes off of like a bag, like from a team store. This is the Sussex Skyhawks, the team that 
was in the Can Am League before the Sussex County Myers. They only lasted three, four years. Um, I did go there once. Don't remember it, <laughs> but we were there. So I have that. And this is a 2011 uh, track guide. And actually, this NASCAR logo isn't even a part of it. That's just stuck there. But let's let's take a venture through the track guide if it's not stuck together. Here we go. 2010 year in review with Johnson's Drive for Five. So that's a new standard of excellence. I am finding it very difficult to turn these pages, so I might accidentally skip some. Uh, Keselowski winning the 2010 uh, Nationwide Series Championship. Todd Bodine in, in the trucks. Daytona Phoenix. Going through all the tracks by schedule for 2011. Fontana, Martinsville, Texas, Talladega, Nashville, Richmond, Darlington, Dover. I guess that's it. <laughs> I thought there'd be more. Oh, there is more. Charlotte, Iowa. Back, you know, when Iowa was still pretty new. Kansas, Chicagoland. Pocono, Michigan, Sonoma, Road America, uh, Kentucky, New Hampshire, Indianapolis, ORP, uh, Watkins Glen, Montreal, Atlanta, Homestead. There you go. Camp World Series uh, schedule all on Speed Channel. Uh, all of it on ESPN2 for the Nationwide Series. And then, you know, you have your mix here in the cup side of Speed, Fox, um, actually, I, this is back when, like now, uh, Speed Channel is basically FS1, so it's the equivalent. Now, they, they seem to dump a lot of cup races on FS1, but here, every one that Fox owned that was an actual points race was always on Fox. The only ones that they had on Speed were the Duels and the All-Star Race. Um, then TNT had their six summer races, and then you had ESPN, uh, and then... You had a couple on ABC as well, the bigger race. Not even the championship. Championship wasn't even on on ABC. It was Kansas. Uh, no, that was uh, Charlotte, Richmond, and uh, Bristol. For the three on ABC. I remember in... This is going off track, but we're almost done here anyway, I think. But I remember 2008, um, there was a red flag um, for an ABC race at Phoenix... And they literally just cut away and during the red flag uh, for, like, America's Funniest Home Videos. It just showed up out of nowhere. Like, they're showing the wreck. They're showing, like, Tony Stewart or something wrecking. And then all of a sudden there's, like, this crying baby on screen with the AFV music. <laughs> and um, and then they move the race to, like, ESPN2 or something. But, uh, interesting. Oh, that was my address. How interesting. Um... Anyway, this is another 2016 baseball scorecard. Uh, Cincinnati Reds this was the third and final baseball game of that whole trip. Um, this is an amazing 15-inning uh, game, which I had no room for. This at least went to 12, and then as you can see, I mathematically calculated the other three innings down here in the notes. Uh, so you see the inning on the top, then you have the number of the player, and then you have what they did. So I math, you know, it worked. And I made, I did make it small, just in case it went forever, but it only won 15. Cubs won. Um, really great game. <laughs> um, grand slam in the top of the 15th by Chris Bryan, I think it is. Four, I mean, no, no it Coin of the, if, assuming that mean assuming that's a jersey number, it's saying number nine. Oh, is Javier Baez? Interesting. Uh, anyway, uh, final was seven to two Cubs uh, over the Reds on June twenty eighth. So this was the day after Louisville. Um, see the Cubs roster right there. John Lester started this game, and then we have the Reds over on this side. And let me start from the front, because this is the whole program. Reds Magazine. A little bent. Five dollars, though. Pretty good. You know, I guess being from the 
from New Jersey, you know, the New York market area. <laughs> you know, $5 for an MLB program is pretty good. I don't remember how much the Yankee magazines are, but I'm pretty sure they're more than $5. Pretty positive. I mean, it is literally $40 just to park anywhere in the vicinity of Yankee Stadium. So, <laughs> and I believe with this one, it was kind of interesting because we parked in Kentucky. For those of you who don't know, the stadium is right on the river. Cincinnati is right on the state border. And right across the river is Kentucky. And there's an aquarium there and a parking garage. So he parked in the parking garage in Kentucky and walked over. So that was pretty cool. MLB The Show 16, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so yeah, mostly it's been articles and stuff. Um, opponent rosters. There's your Cubs. So obviously this Reds magazine was for, I guess, from May till the end of June. Around the majors. Bryce Harper. So I'm trying to hold that down with my knee. Upcoming opponents. Here you go. Nationals, St. Louis, Lego, Star Wars. <laughs> um, A's, San Diego, Cubs. So I guess this was, uh, this was 28th. So this was the second to last uh, day that this version of Reds Magazine would have been up to date. There's your coaching staff for the Reds. Um, here's some roster. Major League Baseball directory. Oh, this is literally like the P.O. box for every single team. Interesting. Bring home the hometown bacon. Full roster over here. Homer Bailey. Remember when you... For, what? And you first gave me to the kid? No. No, I don't. Um, more roster. Rossiel Iglesias, Devin Mezzarocco, uh Ross Ollendorf. They have a couple more down there. Uh, Brandon Phillips, Scott Shebler, a couple more names down there. Uh, you, Eugenio Suarez. Dan Straley, Joey Votto, some promotional nights, uh, Adam Duvall and Scott Shebler article, Polar Bear, uh, there's your affiliates, Louisville Bats, so I saw the AAA Reds the night before the Major League Reds, how about that, they also have Pensacola, Daytona, Dayton, Billings and Arizona League. Oh, and there's some there's an article about the bats. I've never been there, but Daytona uh, seems like a really cool stadium. Cause last year I was at Harrisburg, which is a stadium that is literally on its own island in the middle of the river. Daytona is a very similar situation. Plus, it's also a historic one because it's called Jackie Robinson Stadium. It's an old stadium. Jackie Robinson did play there. So it'd be cool to get there one time. And the fact that it's like a few miles from the racetrack. <laughs> That'd be a very cool weekend one, one of these days. Um, another thing we did on this Midwest trip was we did go to Dayton. Dragons were not in town. Could not see any sort of game. But we were in Dayton at one point. Um... Damn, this is very in-depth. I know it is a major league program, but it was $5. This is very good for $5. Guest guide. Here's your parking. So this is a baseball stadium. Uh, right next to it is the hockey arena where the ECHL Cincinnati Cyclones play. Over here is Paul Brown Stadium where the Bengals play. They're building a soccer stadium in Cincinnati, I hear. I don't know where that's going to be. Uh, I remember we did drive past Paul Brown Stadium. Um, did kind of see inside of it. Saw the outside at least. Um, bobbleheads. And one thing we didn't do that I kind of regret. At the same time, there wasn't a whole lot of time by the time we got there. But one thing I wish we could have done was... Um, there's like a two-floor 
Red's museum in the outfield. That would, would have been very cool to go to. But hey, I'm, you know, I'm young. I'm only 19. There's plenty of time for for that and a lot of other stuff. Um, the fact that the stadium's only been open since, what, 2003? Something like that. So there's plenty of time before the stadium goes away. And plenty of time in my lifetime to get out there. Um, and there you go. That is the map of the stadium. Here's your promotional schedule for 2016. Continuing over here. Vegalicious Snackalicious. <laughs> Here's your schedule. And there's the back. So anyway, we are done with this episode. We have a 36 minute video on our hands. Very good. That's kind of what I expected. Like I said, I was kind of aiming for a longer video that would kind of substitute for the highlight videos in length. But uh, anyway, good video. We will venture on to another binder here next week. Six days is usually how these cycles work. So in six days from now, you will be probably seeing another video uh, going through another binder. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you all later.